Welcome to Script Monster. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a rich text editor, otherwise known as a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Now, these can be used in online forums whereby you need the users to have the ability to format their text before submitting their forms. Now, on the screen is an example of such a text editor, and so I'm going to demonstrate how it works before we go into the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So for example, I'm going to type in, you see we have some text, and if I want to format it, maybe I want this to be bold, see, it's bold, italicized, underlined, I want this to have a cool font, And I also want it to have a nice good color. You see, I want to strike that out. See, that's what you can do. Let's say I'm also a mathematics nerd and I want to show off my mathematics prowess to the internet people. You see, I can be able to create superscript. Let's say I'm also a chemistry genius. I want this to be subscript so that my work can validate, people can enjoy my job, you see, I want this to be italicized, you see, you can be able to do all these things, you want to change the background color of some font like highlighting, okay, and I want the font color to be white, you see. This is the kind of thing you're building. I also want to change the font size of that one. Then I want to share my website. So I'll create a link. You see, it creates a link. But I want to undo. Maybe I want to create a list about some animals. Also want to create an ordered list. Okay, so you can see you can be able to format text. In the first lesson, we are going to learn how to add the markup, the HTML, and CSS. The second lesson, we are going to learn how to add the functionalities to all these. Okay, so let's start. So let's move to the code and begin. So we are going to begin with the basic HTML document and we're going to add a div, the ID of the editor. This is the div that is going to hold all the contents, all of them, okay? The next thing, we're going to add a div with the ID, the ribbon, okay? Now this is the div that is going to hold all of these buttons the green div there okay below this div we're going to have another div which is going to have an id of rich text area now this is the div that is going to hold the editable area okay it's going to hold this now this is the div with a green border there okay in this div we're going to add an iframe we're going to give it an ID of the WYSIWYG and a name of the WYSIWYG. One more attribute is frame border. We're going to give it zero. Now this iframe is where the editing happens. Okay, it is held by this div, but now the iframe is where the editing happens. Okay, so it's very important to have an iframe there. So from there, we're going to the head section where we're going to add the CSS. Okay. So style and we're going to style this div first this one for that div we're going to apply the following styles we're going to have it have a margin zero auto a width and a height okay the next div we're going to style is the ribbon for the ribbon we're going to apply the following styles we're going to have it have a border border bottom of none 10 pixels padding, background color, 
and border radius this will give it rounded corners okay like that the next div we're going to style is the rich text area so for the rich text area we're going to apply the following styles we're going to give it a border a height and the width okay now the next element to be styled is the iframe okay so for the iframe we're going to add the following styles we're just going to add width and height so let us save that point and preview the document to see where we get to you see that's what we get but you see now you can't type that will be turned on using javascript so let's go back to the code we're going to start adding the buttons okay so the first button we're going to add the button with the id of bold button and the title of bold okay you can see i put in a bit there and i bold it okay so when you save the document when you go back to the browser and refresh you can see what we get okay so we want to style all the buttons to have similar look so we go back to the code so we will target the, the buttons that are children of the ribbon the div with the id ribbon we're going to give them white color we remove the border we remove the outline we remove the background color and we change the cursor to a pointer so let's save at that point and refresh we see what we get you see the cursor is a pointer and the button looks like that and you see it has that tooltip there when you hover over it it says bold that is added by adding this title we're then going to target these buttons in their hover state okay so when you hover over them we want the background color to be a little bit darker and have some animation okay so when you go back to the pros and see you see when you hover over them the background color becomes a little bit darker so from there we'll just continue adding the buttons we add another button with the id of italic button and the title of italic and we make its in html italicized okay so let's see where that gets us to you see an italic button then i'm going to add several other buttons because it's the same thing a button then an id and a title and it's in html because they're all similar let's see where we get to you see now the next thing we're going to add is a little bit different from a button so let's see the next two elements to be added are going to be these input types these ones that bring out the color so this is how we're going to add them right below we're going to have an input type color we're going to give it an id and a title okay like that so let's preview them in the browser you see this is what we get but i don't like the way they have this border so we're going to add some styles that are going to eliminate the borders and everything so let's you see now they look better so what i've done is i've removed the border the outline and the background color the next thing we're going to add is the drop down select option menu okay so we're going to add that we're going to go below it below the last input and create a select element like that and give it an id of font changer inside this element we're going to add the options which have a value of the font and the text that will display okay value and text and this is important on two levels okay we're going to discuss that when we get to javascript so we add the first option times new roman so the other options will look exactly the same as this so i will go ahead and type them in 
these are the options I've typed in font consolas Tahoma monospace cursive sans serif these are the options okay so when you save the document and preview it this is what we get okay but you can see in this other document these drop down are styled to have the font which they represent not like this so how did i style that so how i style that below the div i created a script because i want to style each of them to have the font family of their value so first i selected them like this i created a variable call it fonts and equated it to document dot query query selector all this is a function that you can use to get elements so i said the select element with the id of font changer we want to get the options so by that i mean i'm selecting this element and getting these options okay now it returns them in an array okay so the next thing i did is that i ran a for loop over this array to change the font of each of the element so like this so i said for each element in this array i want to change the font family to their value so when you go back to the browser you'll see all of them will have the font styling them to be the font value so let's go back to the browser refresh whoops it's not work so let's go back and debug yeah i left out a t there okay so be careful there i left out a t so let's refresh and see you see they are now styled in their font okay the next element you're going to add is this select to to change the font size okay you see if i want this to be font 8 they will so let's go back to the code now right below here i'm going to add a select option okay which is going to hold these numbers but i'm not willing to type 10 numbers okay so am i going to deal with that so because i don't want to type 10 options this is what i'm going to do i'm going to write a new script tag there use a loop to, to write all the 10 options so i'm going to say for where for that i want document dot write okay so what do i want it to write i want it to write option but in between here we want a value okay so we're going to make the value be this i this one should be one okay we're going to make it to be this i so we're going to concatenate a string that way and make that one to be i and the val and the text that displays we're also going to concatenate it that way okay so you see it's i as the value the i as what is being displayed so when you save the document go back to the browser refresh you get our drop down menu there with just a for loop okay after that we are going to go below that select option then we are going to add the rest of the buttons the link and link undo and redo okay so we're going to add all of them they have the structure of the first buttons up here so that's why i've typed in a title an id and the title okay wow we are through with the HTML and CSS. Wow, we have not even started JavaScript and we are up to 89 lines. That's cool. So, let's meet in the second lesson whereby we are going to give this button functionality using JavaScript. Okay? And see you next lesson.